repping his region on the mic too. Mm -hmm. yeah, he'll right. be playing Sam Show over the weekend. A lot of FGC oh, events. Sick. All right, going into game number one of the reset of Grand Finals. Now, will we be seeing a bo uh, you know a W go on the board for the green team this time? Yeah, it was pretty brutal the last time. Mars and Mr. E just looked unstoppable. But Light and Dawn are riding that loser's bracket momentum. They have been playing how many sets? Oh, just one. They made it to winner's finals, duh. Yeah, well, either way, their hands are warm. Meanwhile, Mr. E and Mars have been chilling here for pretty much like the last two sets. It was like I was pointing out before, the, the blueprint of what was going on with Jen and Laid, very similar to what was going on with Mr. E and, uh, and Mars. Hopefully that matchup that they just played and the fact that it seems like Don is really kicking it into gear can help them get themselves some momentum to carry this into maybe a reset. They've got the lead right now, so anything is possible. I, Ajax, sorry, I stumbled on my words there. I know your name, don't worry. It's all good. We're running late. Larry Francis, bro. <laughs> hey. <laughs> that, all right, that was, that was years ago. <laughs> I spent like six months dealing with that. That would be so fire if that was your real name, by the way. Nope. That would be the perfect tag for you. All right. Either way, Dawn and Light looking better than they ever have against these opponents, at least. Yeah, you know, they already have a two-stock lead where we were not seeing any bit of that before. And Light, uh, Dawn trying to go in to, to stop the bleeding, but it didn't matter. Mr. U was able to cover that from the ledge. All right, got the up tilts. Mr. E not gonna try to gamble on up being out of that. Just gonna play it nice and safe. And Don playing his role as the stock tank, the man in the back, the lurker, the bouncer. Yeah, kind of lurking uh, there for that up to uh, the up air too. Just kind of walking slowly over to Mars to try and get him to be proactive off the platform there. Got nothing out of it though. Oh, and the down tilt for Mr. E putting Don right in the way of lights up smash. Additional hit lag, of course from connecting with Mars, but that's a trade that they're certainly willing to take. Taking yeah. Dawn's first stock in exchange for Mars' second, yeah, hell sitting yeah. Sitting at about 150 plus or so, mm -hmm. that, you know, that is definitely something they'll take every time. Hey, it's, it's just been a huge uh, difference of pace so far between these teams, but you're starting to see that they're changing their focus a little bit to light, trying to get that stock on. Yeah, that was an uh, early glimpse at Hero, right? The Kamikaze right there. Oh, that is going to be so ridiculous in doubles if that is it very is. easy to pull off. You got a stock lead? Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and just sack a stock and take everybody out. Yep, forward throw to Kamikaze. You're at 150. They're at zero. Mm, that seems worth it to me. But wow, Don, he was hanging on for so long until Mars hit him with that flip kick. And that's just the closer of stocks right there. But Mars going to have his own stock closed. Oh, Mr. E somehow avoiding death. Okay. I like the fade as well. And then you saw Don also just deciding to stay down a little bit longer after he missed that back. Like, all right, let's not commit and have to tech and maybe lose this stock really early and all of a sudden get this game back to even. Light, a bold man for dash attacking right into Mars' shield, mm -hmm. knowing that boost kick could have come at any moment at 125%. Oh, and just uh, saying, it, hey, look, Don, uh, you don't have enough damage. It's like, look, I nared. I need to up smash. You happen to be the closest target to me right now. All right, Mars, are you able to pull off a crazy 2v1 here? We saw just how early this guy can take stocks from you if you give him the opportunity. But Light and Dawn, they're just so clean in the 2v1. I don't know if they'll see that. Oh! Oh! Oh, trying to snipe that early stock there on that down B. That would have been huge to bring this back to an even game. And, of course, Fox so exploitable off the stage that if Light gets left alone out there with him, it could be real bad. I love the movement from Mars, though, using that directional air dodge just to stay on the fly. And that balloon knockback definitely sending a little bit too far away. You saw that Don was trying to go for maybe a fair or something there. Don needs to play perfectly on the defense. Not going to get converted on his light. But light's going to close out that dare attempt there with that up air. And we see already a change of pace. Yeah, light and Don coming out swinging in the first game. But maybe this is just the warm up that Mars and Mr. E needed to get back on their feet. And maybe it could be a 3 0 from here. Who knows? but certainly a better performance than we had seen in the winners' finals by a long shot. Yeah, everything's all good for them in terms of, you know, having plenty of time to make things go, get get changed up. You know, Don definitely playing with a lot more momentum, like getting a lot better in terms of uh, being able to keep both of them safe when it matters. But when you have a whole nother set to play, there's a lot of time for Mars and Mr. E to just put, this, put a stop to that nonsense real quick. Yeah, these guys, both teams, just so ridiculously good, man. I see everybody's kind of not really a whole lot of chatter going on. I think everybody just understands what needs to happen. And uh, Mr. Ian e Mars is looking very composed, like, all right, you know, hey, it happened. It's whatever. Going to the next game. We got this. 
So we see they have. They're, we're going to be going to Yoshi's Story, I believe. It's Story for uh, Melee, right? Yeah, Story okay. Island. I don't know why crawling. I always forget that. Story's the good one. Yes, we had we had Island go for quite a while over in Connecticut, and uh, we have finally put an abolishing uh, act to that. We'll be switching over to Shine Rule Set pretty soon. Make nice. Sure Make sure you, by the way, if you happen to uh, be up in this area besides Spending North, Shine will be happening in uh, August, a few weeks after Evo and SmashCon. So keep an eye out for that, too. Make sure you register. Yeah, there's a lot of talk about the summer of Smash, but it's really the August of Smash, man. Now that Evo <laughs> has moved out of July for the last couple of years, that month is just jam-packed with content for you guys to watch. You'll never be bored on a weekend, whether you're at home or no. traveling. Yeah, what? Well, hold, hold on. I see Devin like looking like he just saw a ghost from that offstage interaction. Everyone just trying to kill each other. Yeah, you know, they, they, let's be real. Every single person on this stage, between the footstools of Mr. E, the down Bs, yeah. uh, light going for a fair sh uh, shines. Light, light being light, really. Yeah, light just being light. And then those fairs, everybody loves killing as early as possible. And then Don's follow-ups off of really any hit from light into the fair off stage. Mm. You see, it, you know, we're kind of seeing a, a replication of the last game. And then I like what uh, what happened there. Instead of Don trying to go for maybe another up air reset to continue to string, he back aired and immediately shielded to stop it, uh, stop the um, the pressure coming in from Marsh, trying to close it out. Oh, the footstool, but it was a phantom because Don was in the middle of performing an action. So fortunately for him, not going to go out to that one. Oh, Light just, that just looked like he just ran off the stage. Yeah. Um, Did he lose track of himself? We're, we're, see, yeah, we're seeing a run back on the replay up on top here in a second. But oh, now I get it why you pointed over before. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I still can't tell how he died. What? All right. Meanwhile, back on this though, we're seeing uh, Mars almost losing his stock down there, trying to do the wall jump defense uh, with the rising up air. Mars not losing a single stock so far. I don't know. Light just did nothing. Yeah. We still uh, can't figure out how he yeah. just died there. Great mysteries of life. Guess I'll die. <laughs> Guess he will. Yeah. All right, well, either way, super, super even game right now. About 120 on both sides of the field. And four stocks per team here. Let's see, it's all going to come down to who's able to take the second stock off one member of the other's team and then just snowball the momentum from there. Mars getting kind of beat up already. He was the healthiest player on the screen for just a second. Don going for all these downers. Oh, the up smash, the jab into the up oh. smash as well. Good defense from Don to reverse that. Gonna go for the dead. No, he's gonna go for the counter instead, hugging the wall. He has the ability to tech if he happens to miss. That was a good call on Mr. E. Yeah, really smart stuff. Oh, but quick revenge kills immediately. And Don's still hanging on to the second stock. I'll try to give in for the fair. He hasn't really gone for that. Oh, oh, oh and no tech from Mr. E as well. That's gonna be early stock loss. And now we're looking at another decent lead for Green Team over here. What does he have? Oh, wow, the forward smash. I think he wanted to drop through fair. But doesn't matter. That was still really cool. Yeah, it, it would have been damaged for damage to sake too, just being up right now. Yeah, just not enough percent on Mars for that to go through. That F tilt, jabs, answering. Oh, oh, hold he, up. Oh, right. Uh, I forgot Don jump. had that second stock. Yeah, this is not looking great for Mars here. Yeah, just get a uh, rack on that damage as well. Mars trying to keep himself alive in the corner, but you see he's trying to force his way in to go after Don, but Don just waiting back. He's got the flood on line too to push him right into light. Your region's filthy at doubles, man. And yet we don't have doubles going either, but we're, we are we are rather disgusting at doubles indeed. Just the three on the screen right now, all New England. Meanwhile, New York holding that off stage. All right, well, Light and Dawn, a game away from the reset. They really want to keep us here as long as possible, I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, everybody's about making that bread on that stage. Nobody wants to go down to any else here. And after what we saw in winner's finals, which was kind of a steamroll in the way that that game was played, Regardless of the fact that they, they were keeping them even somewhat, that last game was so rough. You can see how quickly these two were able to change, and a lot of it had to do with the mental composure. Look at them smiling and just having a good time over there. Like the moment they start feeling themselves, especially Light and Don, that's when you see much greater defense. Light just, I don't know what he's laughing about, but he's having a grand old time. Meanwhile, Mr. E and Marsh trying to figure out how to stop this from getting a reset. All right. Is it going to happen? That's the big question of the night. Either way, we're in it for the long haul. It's going to be a reverse 3-0 or a reset. Oh, falling out yet again of these multi-hits. Mario's down there, just not all that reliable, as good of a move as it is. 
Yeah, good defense on both teams there. You saw Don trying to go stop Mr. E, and Mars immediately putting the F-tilt out so he wouldn't hit Mr. E as well, pushing him off stage, just stopping that whole interaction. Oh, that took his... No, it didn't take his jump. I thought I saw ripples from Mr. E there, but no, hanging on. We've already had some unexplainable deaths that would happen throughout the night, so hey, if he, Mr. E just wants to go ahead and just drop to the blast, I'm sure nobody will question it at all. Uh, goes for the Dolphin Slash, you kind Catch Light, get off the ledge, but Light is able to reset, get himself back in. Boost Kick gonna stop everyone from trying to force any more pressure over there. And the side B into up air is gonna confirm, and that is gonna be the first stock going down. All right. This is a really healthy Mars, despite Mr. E already being out of here. So I feel like that could still be a problem, especially later in the game. They're letting Mars hang on for too long. We've just shown that he's so explosive, man. Yeah, and we've, you know, you, you have the cheater in the way that he can close out the stocks. That off throw is going to take that stock out. But having to deal with the fact that you could die pretty much at any time to those flip kicks if he catches you, that just slip in on one of your recoveries. But the up smash is going to close out the stock on Don. Oh, flip kicks, boost kicks, forward smash kicks, forward air kicks into the forward smash kicks. Mars's legs, man, never skipping that workout. Or at least Zero Suit isn't. Yeah. Mars just needs to use his hands. <laughs> oh, oh, we got a shield, shield break. break coming in, too. That's just Oh, weird. that was beautiful. If you didn't think it was going to close out, well, it definitely was that time. That double boost kick KO there from Mars. Good mental awareness and a very, very good lead here for the blue team. Don coming to the rescue, though. Busting light out when he has to recover. Oh, man, what a swing, though. Blue team looking so fresh right now. You see the way that Mr. E's catching these landings now, too. That's another telltale sign of when Mr. E is get, playing well. It's not just the ledge traps, it's when you can't get anywhere near him at all. Yeah, a mobile wall. That's really how Lucina functions, man. All right, so, th so this is kind of one of those matches that you kind of wonder when you're just gonna put it in the bag. Like, Light is a competitor through and through. He's probably not just gonna give this match up. This is a really big lead that he has to get through here. Mr. E just throwing the up Bs. I think they've kind of already accepted that they're gonna win, so they might as well just play a little bit silly. Oh, the oh. footstool from Light. Okay, hold up. Never okay. count this guy out. All right, Light's a madman. So we're looking at now a three stock to one lead from that footstool and that up smash. I would say this is over, but it's Light, so let's just, call it anyone's game. Hey, look, if he wins this, I'm just saying move him up like two more PGR spots. Yep. It's not going to happen, though, because Mars is telling them that he's the one who's a little bit higher right now. And now we're going to move on to game number four. I love that rivalry, by the way. MA versus CT. You know, Light and Mars always just exchanging. I am wins very on each other. spoiled and blessed to be able to look at that footstool of mental awareness as soon as he got back up. Mystery trying to punish. Absolutely not having that. Up smash punish, dude. Mm. That was great. The empty landing, too. I feel like any lesser fox would have stuck a nair out or something. But Light having the resilience, the presence of mind to just say, oh, you know what? That shield breaker whiffed. I recognize that. I'm just going to land and go for the up smash. Super clean stuff. This guy's so good. Yeah. And to just talk, talk again about that rivalry we talked about before, you know, the big reason why these two players are so good is because of how hard they push each other, whether it be at Nomads, a great value smash on Mondays, or over at um, the Balance Patch up in Massachusetts, or even Game Underground or any of those ones. Those venues are always stacked with a lot of players, and these two go to all of them. I know some people you know, may not have the top player of the region being able to come out as often as they'd like, but these two are there every single time. And not only, for one, getting their weekly paycheck, but two, <laughs> making sure that they're constantly improving to make sure that neither one of them can outpace each other. Exactly, they keep each other honest, keep each other improving, and that's the kind of camaraderie and drive that you need to see if you want to be as good as these guys. Meanwhile, you got Mystery as well, another weekly monster, constantly going out there, everything. Mm -hmm. And you can see, ooh, very, very good gameplay right there. He just positioned himself perfectly to get that conversion to the S-Match. Closing it right out, and Light Stock going down too. We're seeing a complete change of pace coming in from the blue team over the green team. Oh, the counter hitting both of them, and Mars right there to pick it up. All that hit lag just making it a lot easier for them. Yeah, Don almost getting the reverse edge guard there, trying to snipe the jump of Mr. E, but Mr. E gonna make it back. This is a scrap fest right here. Problem is that <laughs> every single time they've been getting in these interactions, Blue Team is just running with this lead right now. Oh, dash attack to sneak underneath. Wow, okay, Dong gonna pick up the stock. But they are still trailing here in percents and in stocks. 
Mystery mm. digging deep too to go close out that stock on Don. Don losing these stocks so fast. Blue team looking like what we saw in winners finals before, really changing everything up and just staying ahead of them big time right now. Yeah, Lucina's such a threat off the stage too, especially against Mario. Pretty much you know exactly where he's coming with that arc, that jump shot arc. All right, gonna plant him. Oh, Mr. E just a little bit slow to the punch, and really just Don on point with the mashing. Yeah, get himself out of dodge as quick as possible. And Don trying to reestablish that stage control he was getting before, but we're seeing just complete change of pace. Finally, Light gonna take the stock out on Mr. E. Oh, a beat, yes, that'll do it. There you go, and you know, we were talking earlier. We, we had some negativity earlier, we're not gonna lie. And then they ran it back hard. Are we seeing a repeat of that? Uh, yeah, certainly looks like it. Don off the board is like gonna take, or is like gonna let him take it. Yes, he will. And now Don in the two v one. We've seen him do it before, but not against these kinds of odds. Yeah, down three stocks to to one right now. Everybody relatively fresh. Ooh, I like that reset. Their problem is that when you get back on stage, you got Mr. E lurking. And yeah, I'm just gonna concede, or maybe he was out of a jump. I know, yeah, he's like rearing back in his chair, like, man, I lost my jump. Like, well, I mean, you gotta make sure you don't lose your jump for another three stocks you gotta take out, too. All right, well, all of a sudden, Blue Team right back in this. It's so two very quick matches at that, too. Blue Team kind of waking up a bit, trying to prevent this reset, trying to just take this money right now, be the doubles champions of Defending North. We did see how well that the green team was playing those first two games. And you see them not not laughing as much, but it definitely looks like they're kind of talking it over to figure out what's going on. Meanwhile, Mars and Mr. E looking like they've never met each other before. Look at them. They're both kind of like raising their eyebrows. Like, like, oh, man, I wonder if, you know, maybe if I could kind of talk to him. Will, 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 he, will he like me? Will, will he be okay if I, if I say something? <laughs> but, but right now, they see Don and Light just trying to figure out what in the world has been changing. Don trying to get... Uh, to see if he can recreate the success he had before. His defense was very, very strong. And Light, if he can, if they could feed him to Light, Light will close out those stocks. But I'm not sure what they're going to be able to do to stop this. I don't know, man. They just need to channel that energy that they had in the loser's bracket, channel that energy from the first two games. We're taking a good pause here. And we're getting good music. Like I said, every time White has the opportunity to be able to hold the, the ones and twos, he puts on the good ones. Yeah, Light definitely the best DJ in the building. We don't get the we don't get to hear the real best DJ anymore on Saturdays because everybody goes to PS2. I know, Devin. I'll, I'll, I'll exit the building. I'm sorry. So, going into game number five here, we got Lila. Oh, my favorite stage. I can't believe we might be closing out the tournament here. I'm so happy. I, I just I can just feel how excited and, and happy you are to how see that no janky is, is just occurring and everything and somewhere MVD is smiling. So Oh uh, dude, me and him, if there's anything that we can agree on, it's stages. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, MVD. MVD Badman. He once told me how to get free stuff at a tournament. What a bad guy. Right, but right now we're see we're seeing what is looking like a potential final game coming in for the blue team trying to take this W of Defending North 2019 over the green team of Light and Don. But Light and Don, they had success in those first two games. This change of pace on the Lilac might be enough, and the first point is going to go to the green team. But even right. it right back up is Mars. <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> like you said, immediate revenge kills from both of these teams consistent. Uh, really, all the teams that we've seen throughout this top eight. They are so quick to press the response. Mm -hmm. It's so important. Oh, and the mystery E is actually going to go down pretty quick, too, with a good ledge trap coming in from Light. Light not trying to let this happen right now. They want to get this reset. And you can see Don playing a little bit better, too. I think the change of scenery might be helping. Uh, Yeah, I mean, like, this is pretty much the best scenery available in the game, right? So, you know, it's just uh, got Dark Knight Sky, you know, like out here in NYC. But this time they're in the, up in the sky. And low battery yet again. Somebody charge your controller. Light gonna have to recharge that stock too, losing that that stock right there, back to a dead even game. All right, up smash, not gonna take the stock out on Mars just yet. Mars resetting himself back to center stage, changing his target to light. 
We've got green team with plenty of stage control. Mars gonna hang on after that down air. Once you see when it fully connects, it's so good, right? It's a really strong move, especially when Mario's got rage and when you're way up there, it can take some really early kills. Oh, Don, very ambitious going for that up air to fair. Yeah, he's been trying many times throughout the night so far to get that to work, but that back air is gonna work for him, putting Mars off stage. He's doing a good job of keeping Mars at bay throughout this game number three here. Literally in the bay with all that water. And now, now in the deep sea, getting sent all the way to the left-hand side. And uh, we're looking at a much better change of pace. But, you know, Don sitting at 140, 150, that stock is getting ready to be deleted very, very soon. Yeah, but it's certainly earned its keep for him. He has definitely put in a lot of work living so long, pretty much consistently throughout all these sets. Again, that is his role, the survivor of the team. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Light can just go absolutely bananas off the stage. Oh, yeah, you can't directional air dodge that, but Mr. E saving his jump. Wow, super clutch, and then Don gonna get killed by Mars in the process. And yeah, that was huge, being able to go over there and close out that stock, uh, having this, you know, four stock to one lead. And Mr. E doing a little bit better at holding his defense, but this game number three, he's been getting slapped around quite a bit compared to those last few games. I don't know if it's the stage uh, change with the fact that he can't really kind of dance around the platforms as much as he was before, but Ooh, he's kind of holding his ground now, parry into up smash. Good call from Don there. Yeah, hold up. The reset might be about to happen right now. I think that long pause they took, you know, just kind of re recollecting, like, all right, we got to stop the smiles a bit. Like, what worked? Uh, you know what, actually? Let's just go to Lila. <laughs> yeah, right? You know what? When in doubt, you can all, anybody can win here. That's why it's my favorite stage. Please add Lila to every single stage list. Oh, oh but Don getting wiped out of this universe. I don't know what planet is over there to the east side of the stage, but it's not Mars, I'll tell you that. You know what? Mars playing with the planetary type uh, intelligence that he gets sometimes and going off and taking that stock quickly. And now Light, ha you know, he has to play the 2v1, but he does have Mars currently at kill percent. He's just got to be super careful on his recoveries. Intergalactic planetary. We're talking about the ones that we run it all the way back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Taking you back like 25 years with that one. All right, yo, Light so wily off the stage. Not afraid to just swing a big button on the way up, protect himself. Meanwhile, you'll see like a lesser fox always kind of in a position of panic. But hold on, Mr. E versus Light. I know Light loves running into this guy in bracket. He's so good against the sorties. Yeah, definitely the demon of Mr. E for quite some time now. And now they're in that 1v1. Oh, and he misses the tech too, but the back air is much weaker now, so he's not going to be able to get that kill. What's the option on ledge? Get up. Oh man, that shield is one neutral B press away from breaking. Oh, but you see Mr. E afraid even top B out of shield. He had a chance there, Light standing up emphat emphatically out of his seat, resetting the bracket. That was absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, Light popping off hard, you know, feeling himself after that W right there. That was a very, very hard fought after that 2v1. And now we get to see a reset. Venya popping off a little bit off stream too, just kind of having a blast of what he just saw. Actually, no, he's, he's just making fun of the fact of how, of how Light just kind of like power walked away, like his shoulders hung yeah, high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kind of fooling himself. Oh, man, Light. So good at this game, but so roastable in real life. <laughs> <laughs> me too, though, so I relate, bro. Big same on that one, too. I live in a house where everybody roasts me on a regular. If you, uh, yeah, you live with Chavo, right? Yeah. And uh, who else? Any other Smashers? Um, If you remember Koga. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, he's back now, right? Yeah, uh, yes, uh, he's also about to be a daddy. Congratulations I know, I to saw, Koga. dude. Yo, congrats, bro. Little Janine. Uh, no, no, get it? no, it's good. Uh, no, no. You know, uh, in, uh, in freaking uh, Pokemon, Koga's daughter, Janine. Yeah, but yeah, but no, it's, it's, it's a boy. It's a boy. Oh, well, a little Koga Jr. then. Yeah. But we have um, also uh, my cousin Metro lives over there. It's a very stacked house, and then Light and Company are always there. Uh, if you're. If you, if I happen to know you, or if you're around here, if you happen to be coming out to events, uh, we have a lot of Connecticut and Massachusetts events, and I know it's a bit of a drive, and uh, we, we like to coordinate to try and help people find uh, housing or anything mm -hmm. like that to be able to get themselves up to this thing. So if you're ever trying to get yourself up to those events up in Mass and you have a little bit of trouble, you know, finding a commute or a place to stay along the way, hit me up. Yeah, yeah, definitely clutch having a place like that, and of course, you know, I've, I've got a smash house of my own. Mm -hmm. up in the Bronx, and we always are having fests. I'm about to start streaming them, by the way. Finally, finally, I'm, I'm about to get back on the stream grind. I've been streaming like three times in the last two days, and I'm kind of feeling it again. This conversation so. in itself is one of my favorite things about just the community in general. Is the well, look at Light moving. He's moving oh, yeah, in real no, life. Yeah, no, he, yeah, keep going. He, yeah, it was just uh, the fact that so many people we've never met along the way, we, we support each other, try and help each other. 
get the grind like these people on stream right now. We have the true finals, grand finals reset of the blue team of Mars and Mr. E and Rogue Light and Sanaidon trying to get this reset, take the W, but unfortunately a little bit of a miscue off stage is going to lead to a very early stock loss on Don. All right, here we go. This is the real end of the tournament. And props to Light and Don, by the way, for rallying up. And they almost got reverse 3 0 on. Things were not looking good. But I, I don't know, man. These players are just absolutely insane. Yeah, I think a big thing that, that's going to be key is how well can, uh, like, like Don and Light keep their composure after those things happen. And how good is the communication between Mars and Mr. U right now? Because they're not really talking a whole lot off stream, but I think they're doing a good job of kind of keeping things clean. But that last 2v1 we saw from the light, uh, you know, getting the reset might have been, a, you know, a couple of errors in communication. Such an even start to the match, too. And Mars just going ape off the stage. Mm -hmm. Nothing new, of course. Yeah, that, wow, the that's Mars at his finest and then the immediate reaction to that jump, too, to get that stock loss. Yeah, he saw light a little bit cornered. He's like, you know what? I know you're too good to roll the center, so you're probably taking the high road. That's the layers you got to know as a player right here. Like, even though it's all simple, it's like I, they're going to move and they're going to jump or so. It's like playing Street Fighter, but with platformers. It's it's all about those quick neutral decisions. That's why Mars plays so well. And we were talking about how the first two games of set one were what woke Mr. E and Mars up. Mm -hmm. Granted, it got them to a game five, but I think dropping that set really lit a fire underneath them because Don already one stock away from going out here. I mean, fortunately, making it back by killing Mars there, but is that too little too late? I'm not sure. Not going to be a kill on either of these guys, but still valuable stage control. Yeah, luckily for Don, too, he kind of faded away out of that boost kick, not getting hit, and didn't end up losing stage control. Meanwhile, they're going to finally get the kill off on Mr. E, and Don going up there right away to get uh, Light out of that spot. That boost, or flip kick, almost enough to take care of Don, but barely clinging to life here. Oh, whiff stop, be out of shield. No true punish there, but still getting opened up by Don. Seeing that flip kick reminded me of one of the old things that we used to point out in uh, Smash 4 especially. If you wanted to make a smart financial decision, don't neutral get up on Mars. Oh, yeah. Like so. So many ways. Down smash, down B. Even just timing the back air, holding jab. If you'd like your bracket life to continue or to continue to hold on to your stocks that you have in the market, well, flip kick is definitely there to ruin it. All right. Well, duly noted that if I ever play Mars again, because he clapped me already once. Right now, blue team is... Just clapping it up again. They are currently holding a decent lead here. You got Don holding <laughs> a very high percent at 134. He's used to it, man. It's literally the purpose of his existence on this team is to just stay alive, let Light be the wild man that he is, and keep him in check. And Light going for that Shine Saw after the save to preventing any edge guards attempts from Mr. E, because you saw Mr. E ran there immediately to try and go for that down air. Yo, hold up, Light and Don, oh man, until that backer connected, they actually were making a pretty decent case for this comeback. And rolling into oh. that. Oh, well, I mean, you, you needed a little bit of help. You rolled into the F-Smash before, and then Mars like, hold up, let me give you a free stop. All right, this back and forth. Oh, the Zare, that was almost a ridiculous follow-up. What? What? Oh, the wrong way. And that's not off. Maybe you like just being like, all right, you know what? You got it. Bro. Uh, I pretty, no, I think he lost his jumping net in exchange there, and he might have been a little bit miscued on that. But that's going to be game one going to blue team. No, you're good. You're good. All right. Shots to Vanny. just grabbing his bag and about to be out. It is getting late here. We just pushed past the 12 o'clock a.m. mark. Devin, is that a... It, yeah, yeah. Is that a massager or a fan? That's a massager? Yo, I'm going to definitely get at that after this commentary. Oh, man, what what a great thing to say with no context. I don't even care. I don't even care. I was waiting for you to say it, too. It's like, he's going he's gonna to say it. I'm going to say the M word, For all bro. you in the stream, now you just have to wonder what we're talking about. So going into game number two, <laughs> running it back to Lilac. So how do you feel? How do, how's your blood pressure feel now? Like, it's just ecstatically happy to see the run back to Lila? Dude, you know those, like, butterflies you get in your stomach when you see a girl that you think is cute? Mm. I have an entire uh, butterfly exhibit in a greenhouse in my stomach right now. Yeah, you said you gotta go, go open up at the zoo. Yeah, dude, I'm about to go to the Bronx Zoo tomorrow instead of coming to defend the North. Hey, I mean, you know, it's got a lot of wild animals in there. Everybody's wild right now on this stream. <laughs> yeah, every single some, player here is nuts. Yeah, everybody's throwing out big hitboxes, like getting the best of it right there, getting the up smash on the Mars. Oh, oh, Don just short of the edge there. 
just barely missing his recovery there to be able to make that back. But that will be a great interaction for the blue team, not having to worry about having to close that out. Oh, the parry on the back here too. Mars just so on point right now. Oh, and Light recognizing that Mr. E missed the snap, and Mars Donkey Don! This is already so one-sided. I mean, even though Light has three stocks, man, it, it's... Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we were just talking about how Light was playing so on point, and Mars just hit the mental awareness of where to snipe these early stocks. He's always paying attention. That is Fox's greatest weakness, being off stage. So good at almost everything else in the game, but recovering can be a real pain point for him. Yeah, then Don getting, you know, falling asleep. Oh, that down smash just, well, I don't know how he hit him. He was pretty Forward far above him. with the him. back hit from yeah. above. Excuse me? Oh, I love that from Mr. E. Clipping Don with the, uh, the Dolphin Slash, but man, all right, not gonna work out for him, that counter. It's a little bit too late to come out. Good yeah, feedback from Don there to get himself out of dodge. It seems like Mars is trying to parry that last one to go for a boost kick, but he's not going to get it. Don using his character's drift to amazing effect there. Somehow juking Lucina. Oh, and just throws it out. He knew Mr. E wanted to go for the landing there because rising it could go over Mario's head, being that he's so tiny. It's one of the advantages to being a short character, right? Even though your range might suffer, you do get to just cheese your way out of a lot of situations by yeah. being too small to hit. Being able to box your way in is so important, especially against these two characters who, one has a disjoint, the other one has a tether, but get a spot dodge hit, get that up smash, and we're back to a dead even game. Don, who needs to play perfect on defense, he's been really kicking it up a notch here, and that's definitely one of the beneficial ways right there. Have your teammate end up taking out your jump Whoa. by accident, and now we got a 2v1 over on Mars. Are we going to see another game five set? It looks like Light and Dawn haven't been shit. Oh my god, that would have been insane. That was so close to clipping him on the up B. That would have been huge for the green team, just taking that stock right away from him. I'll try to go for a footstool set up there. I think he's trying to go for a drop down there afterwards. Just the littlest bit of water would have been enough to do it, too. Mm -hmm. I'm really kidding. I'm really playing super well here. Oh, and that that was so smart. He went for the jab one, two. Spot dodge so Don, uh, so Don would accidentally grab his own teammate. That was ridiculous awareness. Again, just not committing to all the hits. Not going to stay in one place for too long. You see, Don is been, like, it, it's Mars isn't really focusing too much on Don, but Don is doing a good job of keeping, like, Mars at bay away from Light because Light is... He, he wants to steal that one away from Light really bad. Back here, Volley not going to get hit by the up smash. Oh, this is so intense right now. Oh, and he connects the back air by surprise, too. I think Don had just realized, uh, just saw him off stage and was like, you know what? I'm fine. Yeah, just the fact that he caught him like on that rising air. Catch him <gasps> sleeping. Is that side B going to be it? Yes, it, it is. is. Mars pulling off the 2v1. That was insane, man. These games have just been nuts front to back. And the fact that Mars navigated so well against the wall of bears and all the dares that you saw Don putting out, meanwhile Light just trying to find that one mistake and that one opening to get the hit with like an up smash, Mars never given it to him and Mars also had a very heavy pop off at the end there too. Now, instead of a 1v1, looking at a 2-0 lead. Yeah, I don't know man, could we see the reverse 3-0 from Light and Don this time? These matches have been much closer than what we were seeing earlier and right now we're gonna be Looking at both uh, Light and Don with their back up against the wall every single round, they have no other choice but to walk away with a W. And to run it back to Lilat. Pretty sure we'll be running, uh, you, you take a compilation of how many times you have Lilat available to you. They're just doing it for me, man. I, I know they want to make the it's, commentators happy. It is purposely for you and the stream viewers who have loved Lilat for years. Yeah, I can't think of any reason not to. And, and luckily for you, we're probably going to be staying on Lilat for the remainder of this unless we see uh, them get the, the W and the blue team change to a different stage. Meanwhile, right now, we're looking at a change of scenery for Light, just trying to find his way back, able to get a Phantom Footstool to get himself back past Mars. All right, stage control belonging to Light and Dawn, but Mars, of course, using his character's movement tools to great effect, sometimes just seizes stage control away from you and you think you're chilling. Mm -hmm. Oh, but the counter from Mr. E, yeah, so reliable against Fox off the stage. You know, I like what Don did, trying to throw the fireball to go catch Mr. E, but he was too far, Mr. E closing that out. And then as soon as the Angel platform came in, Don was just obliterated and he got kicked by his own teammate too. Got to get a little bit cleaner on some of these stocks, but Mr. E at kill percent. Another savagely fast game. Wow, that's five stocks gone in a minute and ten. I chose the wrong person to say it was at kill percent.
because you got because Mars is able to or take those stocks so stocks, fast. Sorry. Yeah, four stocks gone. But jeez, man, these guys are ridiculous. Yeah, you know, this is not what you need to see right now when you're on the green team side. You have to win every match from this point forward. Light already down his last stock. Yeah, it's not looking great for them. But I don't know. I feel like they've come back from worse odds before. And that's just kind of the nature of the beast. When you play Fox, you have to accept that you might die really early. You might get gimped. Yeah, and they have definitely turned it up multiple times where it's been needed. We've seen the 2v1 come out of light. We've seen the, the amplification of gameplay from Don, uh, you know, throughout these past couple sets too. But they, they have to they have to get some cheese. They need to get some fares uh, out of maybe Mario and get some early stocks because this is, this is a decent lead. Yeah, and you're fighting two characters with very reliable recoveries, right? You're not going to just catch Lucina in Zero Suit with something gimmicky off the stage and, you know, tap them out of their double jump and close it out. No, these girls can make it back. There we go. Finally a point on the board there, getting rid of Mr. E's first stock. Oh, Light maybe thinking he wasn't going to be on the stage and had to upbeat to recover? Possibly. He might have thought he slipped off a little bit trying yeah. to get himself away there and just committing to going center stage. Luckily, he didn't get punished, but Light's going to close out the stock on Mars. Stock-wise, even. Percent-wise, not so much. Yet yeah, they just need to cause a lot of damage, get Mars to whip these up Bs, pick up some big team combos. Oh, but going to go right into the plasma whip. Of course, the uneven ledges of this stage make it a little bit tricky to recover, especially as a space animal where you got to be picture pixel perfect yeah, with your we recoveries. We saw this happen earlier. We saw Light make the run back after being down 2-1. to one. There is a, a full fresh stock still waiting in the mist on Mr. E or, Mr. or Mars to take. You but see how fast Light's playing right now. Yeah, yep. no, he, he's getting amped up. He wants this run back so bad. He wants to make sure that this stays in because this is the last tournament uh, stock that he has to, to play with here. Oh, man, you could really just feel the intensity, feel the speed, the inner fire of light right now. Wow, I'm so surprised the arc of that forward smash didn't catch him. The option coverage from the blue team was just so Ooh. solid. Right oh, trying to taunt cancel into maybe a kill. Boost kick not going to kill, but no closeout for Mr. E as well. Oh, and he rebounds off the stage. Mr. E fails to track him, but wow, the spike all the way down there. And Mars and Mr. E are your Defend the North Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Doubles Champions. Excellent decision from Mr. E right there. He, you know, he's like, all right, I have a stock up. I'm just going to commit to this dare. I missed the attempt to try and go for you when you went a little bit higher. Doesn't matter at this point because if I get you now, we win. And if I miss, it's okay. Mars is already waiting for you at the top end. I'm coming back. That was insane recognition, risk management right there. He knew, you know, he had a fresh stock to play with. Like mm -hmm. you said, man, he could afford to do that. And he knew that he would win the tournament. Not just the game, but the whole tournament if he connected that spike. So very well done by Mars and Mr. E repping Massachusetts and New York respectively. Mm -hmm. Really good run from them. Um, and props to Light and Dawn for a hell of a run. And a very stacked double tournament we had today between uh, you know all the New York locals who were just putting in work. You had Sam yeah. Sora also coming out earlier too. And Daybreak coming out here as well uh, to, to, to team with Boji. It was a really, really strong double tournament we had. And the action isn't going to end anytime soon. We have the rest of this weekend coming up tomorrow at 12 o'clock on Eastern Standard Time. We will be having singles beginning for you, the singles pools. And then Sunday, of course, Top 48 all the way through will be happening as well. Well, Ajax, it's been a pleasure, bro. Absolutely. I feel I like it's been a minute since we commented.